I'm Samantha Deitcher with Investment Pitch Media. Today I am joined by Mike Coyne, the founder and CEO of Dionysus Technologies Concepts. Mike, thank you so much for being here today. Sam, thanks for inviting us. Glad to be here. Excellent. So for those that aren't uh, familiar with the company, maybe just give us a little bit of background and your involvement. Super. Uh, Dionysus is a company that was formed about three years ago behind a couple of uh, patents that are very important to our business. These are U.S. patents that describe the use of ultrasound energy to transform and improve wines. And we focus on the sensory characteristics of wine, flavor, mouthfeel, aroma, and finish. Those are kind of the characteristics that we know most consumers are looking for and they care about in the wine that they drink. So Dionysus Technology Concepts created the sonic decanter, brought it to the market to allow every wine to be made better. Excellent. So. We are here to talk about the sonic decanter. So for those that may not be uh, wine savvy or enthusiasts, uh, can you kind of explain what decanting does for a wine? Yeah, I can. In fact, you've probably seen it done in movies or maybe in a restaurant, but typically a bottle of wine is poured into some kind of a glass object, usually a a bowl-shaped object. And the idea is that you're trying to aerate the wine. And uh, this came centuries ago when wine was, frankly, not very good and uh, it was aeration that made the wine more drinkable, made it more tasteful. And uh, that has carried through from Europe and not very popular here in the US, but it's a concept that's very practical. Aeration allows more of the flavor and aroma of a wine to be noticed by our senses. Uh, What's different about the sonic decanter versus aeration is that aeration actually brings room air and oxygen into the wine and it kicks off something called redux or oxidation. When you oxidate wine, eventually that wine starts to lose all of its beneficial characteristics. The sonic decanter, however, is quite different. We, in fact, use ultrasound energy to reduce the amount of oxygen and nitrogen and SO2, which are gases that are naturally found in wine, to make the wine much more enjoyable, much more drinkable, and more often make it last much longer in the bottle. So bring us through uh, how the sonic decanter actually works. Well, it's quite simple. Uh, The device was engineered so that the consumer pours, oh, 16 ounces of cold tap water into the stainless steel tank, removes the cork from the bottle, and inserts it into the tank. It then has an automated process that kicks off some technology that monitors and manages the amount of energy that we use to transform the wine. So very simple three-step process. Remove the cork from the bottle, uh, add some water to the tank, drop it in, and then set the button for either red wine or white wine, and the rest is automatic. So are there any particular wines that you feel are best suited to this technology, or is it user-friendly for all wines? Well, you know, Samantha, that's a great question. Oftentimes people wonder, what kind of wines will I get the best result with? And there truly is a difference in wines and the characteristics that are in Uh, Cabernet wines versus uh, Merlot wines or even uh, say a Syrah wine. Uh, Characteristics of wine influence how the ultrasonic process and the sonic decanter improves those. What we like to say is the darker the wine, the more full body the wine, the better result. And this follows, which is sort of a well-known understood idea, that we long-term age full body red Cabernet Sauvignon, etc., but we don't long age Merlot. We certainly don't long age a lot of white wines because they're not improved by Mother Nature's process in, in, in aging. So we follow that model with the sonic decanter. There are certainly going to be skeptics and purists out there that are going to look at this and say, what benefit is this going to have besides the natural oxidation of wine that benefits from a traditional decanter? So what would you say to those skeptics that are maybe a little unsure of what this technology can actually do? Sure. What I will tell you is we first went with technology to demonstrate the idea to wineries. And we sat down with winemakers and their expert chemists to help us understand what does the winemaker look for to judge the quality or the uh, importance of their wine. And what we learned are characteristics that we built into the process that we use with the sonic decanter. So, uh, long-term aging, as I said, is very common. You'd lay a bottle down and for five, six, seven, eight years, maybe longer, you come back and uh, there's typically an improved flavor and aroma. So, that's a well understood idea. The sonic decanter replicates what Mother Nature does in the bottle during that long-term aging. It's really that simple. 
but the proof is when you have one bottle of wine and you've compared it with wine as the winemaker intended it to be versus the sonic decanter, it is always, wow, that's a much better wine. That's the beauty of the sonic decanter. So my next question is, how do you get your hands on one of these? Well, the best way to find the product today is to go to sonicdecanter.com where we have uh, our website able to fulfill all your customer uh, needs. We also have our product available at wayfair.com and at amazon.com. Uh, we'll be announcing in the near future some additional distribution to make it easier for people to find uh, and experience the Sonic Decanter. What we like to say though is when you have a chance to bring the Sonic Decanter home, share it with your friends. One of the real fun parts of using the Sonic Decanter is seeing your friends and family and their reactions to the result. Is there any other information you'd like to add? What we'd like to explain today is that Sonic Decanter is a company in early stage, but we're ready and poised for growth. Our manufacturing capability is quite vast. We're able to deliver a lot of volume to customers as we build distribution. In the very near future, we'll be offering an opportunity for individuals to become investors in the company here in Canada, which we think will be a wonderful uh, opportunity to uh, share our ideas, let people understand where we're headed, but more importantly, participate in the growth of a technology that is brand new and, by the way, is very common to something people refer to as nanotechnology. The sonic decanter uses ultrasound energy and it creates nanotechnology that improves the wine that we, uh, we provide. Uh, where can people find more information about Dionysus? We have a website, DionysusTechnologies.com, and uh, while that information at the website is interesting for the company, most of the e easiest way to find us would link through Sonic Decanter to the website. We'll have links there for potential investor opportunities as they become available. Mike, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, Samantha. Appreciate it. This has been Samantha Deitcher for Investment Pitch Media. Thank you for watching. Here we have open a 2015 Malbec and so there is one glass here that was when we just opened the bottle yes. and one that has been in the decanter for 20 minutes. That is correct. You don't know which is which. I, I do not do. know which is which. Um, I know you have a great deal of experience with wine so just try them both and let me know uh, when you've had a chance to try both and then I'll ask you two questions. Okay. Well, the coloration looks very much the same. I, what I observed is that this one, quite a bit smoother, um, doesn't have the alcohol perception that this one has. This one has a little bit more of that tannin presence, I find. Maybe a little hot in terms of alcohol. Hot, yes, mm -hmm. that's exactly the term I was going to use, hot. Uh, whereas this one, it's a little bit smoother. Um, yeah, you're not getting that heat perception. Um, and uh, it, the finish is still long on both of them, but um, I'm partial to this one just because it is a little bit smoothed out. And so Sam, these are uh, two glasses of wine from the exact same bottle. And the one that you chose as your preference what went through the Sonic Decanter with 20 minutes. And you cited the smooth, soft, uh, enjoyable mouthfeel, less hotness. Uh, that's what we hear all the time. And we found that consumers, most consumers, prefer that style of wine. And I always say to folks, you know, Samantha, if you had a choice to drink either one of those wines, which one would you drink? I would drink that one. And that's why the Sonic Decanter makes every wine better. Impressive. Wow, that's incredible. Good, thank you for yeah. your time. <laughs> Actually, that is a lot smoother. That is quite a noticeable difference. I have to say, I thought that machine was just a load of old nonsense when I first saw it. I'm very surprised. I never thought that was gonna work. Darn it. I've been in the wine industry about 25 years. I sell wine at retail. I think the Sonic Decanter will be valuable to people in particular who would like to make a wine that they've opened up, tasted, and felt like it was a little too assertive for them to modify it just enough to make it a little more palatable right when you open it. Wine customers come in all sizes, and some of them like wines with a whole lot of grip, but they're in the minority. Most people like wines to have a nice smooth char character, and the machine actually adds that to most wines that you put in. I would use a Sonic Decanter on wines that I found to be a little harsh or maybe a little bitter when I first open them and taste them. That's when I'd go to the Sonic Decanter.
You know, I've had the chance to try the Sonic Decanter multiple times because I've known Mike for a while, and I've never been disappointed. I, I've had the chance to watch Mike do this at, at different venues and parties, and every single time people are blown away how well this works. I've been enjoying wine for well over three decades, and I have never seen anything like this before.